Good morning, everyone. Brian here again with BMK Retro Gaming. God forgive me, the cow lake is starting to come back. Need to try to make uh, provisions to see my barber again sometime this month. Uh, kind of stinks when you're getting at least five to six of these, they'll pop up once your hair grows out enough. I mean, making sure that thing's a bit clear. Anyway, you wouldn't normally get too much of a Thursday video from me, but we do have a little something to go over. Now, I may as well go ahead and mention, just in case anyone is noticing, to please forgive the noise, that would be my um, personal space heater, which I mentioned in my um, uh, eh, I think it was strange but fortunate occurrence video, I'm not sure, where I'd um, sold off a little bit back to my local game exchange retailer and was able to get this. It's certainly a, mo a, a lot more affordable and efficient in some ways than having to run my apartment central unit. Uh, so, uh, and it's actually about 35 degrees Fahrenheit outside and feels it, so yeah. It'd be way too cold in here for me to be sitting here doing this if I didn't have it going, so forgive the extra background noise if you guys can hear that any. Anyway, I did visit my local game exchange retailer and had a local pickup, which I got actually on Monday, but considering that there was both uh, the unboxing video on Tuesday and then the um, Intellivision Original Library Review video yesterday, Wednesday, I decided to just go ahead and save it back and go over it today, uh, as I don't like to lump them all together at one time. Anyway, let's take a look at what we got here, and it is just a loose copy of the Atari 5200 original library game, Missile Command. It's in pretty nice shape, although it looks like the label was probably put on it, uh, must have been reapplied by somebody, and this little corner here was a bit loose, so I used the, um, Elmer's double strength glue stick to go ahead and um, get it back down uh, as best as I could pretty firmly. Kind of not my preference whoever decided to go ahead and throw this um, price, ta uh, price sticker on front. I hate it when they do that, but I'd rather not try to peel it off because I don't want to risk the uh, damage to the main game label. Uh, cartridges main game label and they have another one on back here too so why oh no I guess nobody just thought about it anyway I'd already tossed this in with the Atari my Atari 5200 4 Porter and it comes up and works just fine though I still need a reliable controller to control it along with most of my other Atari 5200 games though fortunately as it goes I've got at least one of the two of those in the works uh, modern day um, reliable controller and uh, that should be done uh, I should get it on order in, or, uh, pretty early this month and should probably have it before the month is out I would imagine and then another one from my friend uh, Aaron Spinks who does the ColecoVision World Facebook group and is also very good at things like this uh, he's also a big Atari 50, uh, 5200 guy is uh, getting settled in and should have another one in the works for me coming up before too, uh, too long. Maybe in the next month or two, uh, he'll be able to get around to that for me. So anyway, it should not be a problem with getting, uh, controlling and playing this one and others, which I'll need those controllers for, for too much longer. Anyway, uh, oh, almost forgot. This one was not too terribly or uh, badly expensive, I don't think, you know. Though I'm not as familiar with that as regards to Atari 5200 uh, original library games and such as I am some others. At a base price, I paid $7.99 for it, plus uh, 66 cents sales tax for a grand total of $8.65, so still fairly under $10, so I don't think it was too bad at all. And like I said, the game works fine. It's already been tested and um, comes up. Just need a uh, way to more reliably, reliably control it. How do you say? Could move the uh, uh, 
little crosshairs target around, but couldn't get my fire button to let me fire with my current original controller, so... Going to have to wait a bit. As a matter of fact, my first Atari 5200 original library review, I think, should be coming up... Um... Let me see... I think in about two weeks or so, so... By the time this month is out, so... And I already know which one it's more than likely going to be, unless, of course, one of those controllers, uh, the first one, gets here ahead of time. In that case, I might change my plans a bit. Anyway, I'm well aware that my both unboxing and these local pickup videos are not the most popular my channel does or has done, but i uh, let you guys see what's been acquired and is going to be added to mine, my channels and my personal collection. And also serves as a little way for, for everyone to get a little bit of a preview of what's more than likely, what's going to be coming up for a review video and further video content later on, more than likely, so. I do them anyway. Anyway, I just want to show you guys what came with that and let you get a little bit of a look into it. And also a good deal because since I haven't quite got everything started and going with the Atari 5200 content besides the introduction, to gaming with the uh, the Atari 5200 um, for BMK Retro Gaming's channel, I figured you know why not? It gives me another little bit of content for the Atari 5200 crowd for now, until we can get more going. By the way, big out, big shout out to my Atari 5200 fanatics Facebook group. Love you guys over there, and hopefully you'll be getting this video before too long this morning. It's still been a bit rainy, cold, wet weather out there. Definitely cold, so I'm not sure if that will cause uh, if that will cause the video upload to be a bit uh, later in the morning than I would like or not. But hopefully, it will be up before we get to be too far gone. So, also, everyone, keep your eyes peeled. Um, because uh, those who watch my announcement posts already know, but the um, homebrew. Pro Brew or Pro Type review for this coming Sunday. Uh, I've got the uh, announcement post up for that here on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Twitter. So those who watch those should know what it's going to be. So keep your eyes peeled for what's coming on this coming Sunday. And in the meantime, if you guys enjoy my channel's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comment section below. You guys take care. Have a wonderful Thursday, and hopefully I will see everyone back here again on this coming Sunday.